All right, hey Quakers, Qu short tutorial for you on reminding you guys how you can sketch parabolas. We're gonna do a real quick one just to help you solve some of these con questions. So this was at the end of um, the second section on con when we were trying to figure out ranges of functions and what con did was he kind of created these split functions, which is kind of nice because it's reminding you that functions are not equations always. So he's saying the domain can be anything you want, but if the x is 0, he created a function that said f of x is just 2. If x is not 0, so all other numbers other than 0, he created a function that said it's equal to negative 2x squared plus 4. And he creates a lot of these questions that are similar to this pattern. So you want to know that's a parabola right away because you see that the, the x term is squared. Notice, I think most of his questions leaves off the middle terms. There's no x term. It's just x squared and 4, which is nice. It'll make our life a little bit easier to sketch. So what does that tell us? Let's come over to here. So I'm going to focus in, first of all, on just the parabola part. And I'm going to worry about that other function later. So how can I sketch this really quickly? Well, remind yourself that to, normally when you have a parabola, you use negative b over 2a to find the x value of the vertex. And since b is 0, because there is no x term, this is automatically going to turn to 0, which simply means that the vertex is located where x is 0. So it's the vertex is going to be on the y-axis. Then the next step is, if you have the x value, you would plug it in, and you'd figure out what the y value is. And since x is 0, that disappears, and the y is already right here. So we know that the vertex of this graph is at 4. That's your vertex. And then for a parabola, you look to the, the sign of the A term. It's negative, so that means the parabola goes down. So if I were to sketch that parabola, it would be like that. The coefficient doesn't really matter for a sketch. If you remember, like the bigger that number, like the tighter the parabola gets. But for our sketch, we don't really care. So it's a negative, so it goes down. It's, the vertex is right at 4. So far, so good. And we've got a rough parabola. So now we have to go back to the question. I mean, to say, well, what happens when x is 0? When x is 0, the function is not the parabola. It's just straight up 2. So you come back over here, and you say, when x is 0, this function is just 2. So it's not, if it was just a parabola, the the Right there, the function would equal 4, but it's not. It's this weird split function. So what we have is a weird graph that has a parabola on one side, a parabola on the other side, and then right at there, we put a hole. And instead, it jumps down to here. So that's kind of weird. And the question wants to know, what's the range? In other words, I'm giving you different x values, all sorts of numbers the function's spitting out y values. So what's, what's being spit out? Well, if you look at this graph, obviously every single negative number is being split out, right? Everything below 4 is part of the range. The real question is, is 4 part of the range? And since there's an open circle, and because of this other function, when they basically set the problem up that way, and they said, well, when x is 0, I want y to be 2, you, to figure out your range, the range is not going to be 4. The range is going to be less than 4. Because when it's 4, it's going to be 2. If, it's a, if x is a little bit more, it's going to be 3.999. That's part of the range. So it's everything less than 4, but it can't be 4. The range is not 4 because of that um, weird split function. If it wasn't like that, if it was just a normal parabola, then the range would be y is less than or equal to 4. That's the normal parabola. And that's for these strange problems that Khan's giving you. So get five right in a row before you move on. These are the toughest ones, I think. So take your time with them. Think about them. Let me know if you need help.